I welcome you to this video, which is the third video of our topic aerospotic, right? So we have discussed various uh, concepts that might be asked in our uh, aerospotic, all right? And in this video, what we are going to discuss is the questions, right? The question format and how the questions are being asked and the pattern as well, okay? So let's discuss few questions. So when you prepare for this topic, error spotting, the sentence is given and they ask you to find out the error, then it becomes error spotting, all right? If a sentence is given and they ask you to correct the sentence and provide an alternative right sentence, then it is a sentence correction. So once the same preparation strategy only, we can use for both the topics, error spotting and sentence correction, all right? Now let's move on to our first question. So how is it given? Read the sentence to find out whether there is any grammatical error in it. The error, if any, will be in one part of the sentence. The letter of that part is the answer. If there is no error, the answer is D. And they've also given a note, ignore the errors of punctuation, if any. Okay. So you see either error spotting would be asked or sentence correction would be asked. They are similar to each other only. So now we have fragmented sentence, right? One sentence is fragmented into three parts. So this is part A, this is part B and part C. So you need to look out for the sentence fragment which contains the error. So you have to first read, try to understand the sentence and then let's look in for the error. So here we've given a single sentence which is fragmented into three parts. So your first fragment is an Indian ship. Your second one is laden with merchandise. Third is got drowned in the Pacific Ocean. So this is your sentence. So read the sentence together. An Indian ship laden with merchandise got drowned in the Pacific Ocean. So where is the error? So is your article right? An Indian, yes, it's right. The sentence formation, an Indian ship laden with merchandise got drowned in the, it is in, right? So your preposition is also right. So what else could be the error? You have to look. You have a preposition with. So an Indian ship laden to with. So it holds the merchandise. So with is also right. So what is the other options that you've left out with? Got drowned. Okay. So logically, if you see, got drowned can actually be replaced with the word sank. Okay. So you always indicate a ship, right? So whenever something happens in the sea to the ship, we say it as sank, right? So it is an Indian ship laden with merchandise sank in the specific sank in the Pacific Ocean. So which part of your sentence has the error in it? Part C. So your right answer is C. Okay. Now let's move on to our next question. So in the following question, there are four sentences. Identify the sentence that is incorrect in terms of grammar and usage including spelling and logical consistency. Then choose the most appropriate option. If all the sentences are correct, then choose no error as your answer. So here you can see you have to look for the error in four sentences and in any one sentence only there will be an error. Okay, so you have to find out which sentence has the error. So if you find that four sentences is also perfect, then you would be choosing E as the answer. So there, what they asked us to do is, in the first question, they told us to ignore the errors of punctuation. But here they are telling, including spelling and logical consistency. You have to look for logical and spelling error as well. So now let's start reading each sentence, okay? So can you take this to the post office for me, Neil? It's a typo error, a question mark should have come. Can you take this to the post office for me, Neil? Yes, so it's a question. It has started with a question tag. You is your subject. A verb is there. Yes, this, your pronoun, to the post office for me, Neil. So that sentence is complete. So it's right. Second, why don't we take a coffee together tomorrow? Okay. So why don't we take a coffee together? So usually what do we say when you want to eat something? You say drink. So why don't we drink a coffee? Or you can say why don't we have a coffee together? We never say why don't we take a coffee? When Maybe communicating it is right. But it's not right when it comes to your written form. 
So why don't we take a coffee together tomorrow? Here is an error. Okay. So now this sentence has an error. Now let's move on to the third one. We always enjoy ourselves when we go to Lin's house. Okay. So this sentence is also perfect. Right. It has a subject as a predicate. It has the joining words as well. Next. I wonder, this is also right. So, I wonder if I could have an appointment for a haircut tomorrow afternoon. Yes. So, is there any error here? I wonder if I could have an appointment for a haircut tomorrow afternoon. Yes. So, this is also perfect. So, this also does not have any error. So, which sentence has an error? This sentence. So, hence, your right option is B. Why don't we have a coffee together tomorrow? Next. Although he was late, but he stopped on the way to have coffee with his friends. No error. So you need to find which part of the sentence has the error. So although... But... So both are transition words, okay? So they join sentences. So although he was late, either how should this sentence be, okay? Either this sentence should have been, although he was late, he stopped. You will not have recurring conjunctions, yes? Or how the sentence should have been is, he was late, but he stopped. So can you see it should have been either, although he was late, he stopped. Or it should have been, he was late, but he stopped. Both your, so both these words, although and but cannot be repeated. Okay, it cannot be repeated. Yes. So, like we saw in the tautological error. Okay. So, this cannot be right. So, what is your answer? Since the sentence has started with although, let us consider that the second part of the sentence with but is the error. So, your option B is the right answer. Okay. Next. She was taking care of her baby for two hours before she was called by her mother. Okay. So, she was taking care. The subject, right? In the subject, the tense form is was taking care. Okay. But if you see about the duration, it is two hours, right? Okay. So, was taking care. If it comes, how should you define this sentence as she was taking care of the baby over. Okay. So that is a simple past tense. But since was taking care and you have a duration, this should have been had been taking care. This should have been had been taking care for two hours, which is your past Perfect continuous tense. Okay. So, had been taking care should have been given there. So, she had been taking care of her baby for two hours before she was called by her mother. So, where, which part of the sentence has the error? Option A is your right answer. Okay. So, now let's move on to the next question. Besides central banks, they have been aggressive in buying physical gold to cushion falling currencies. So, where is the error? Which part of the sentence is the error? And in case there is no error, you will be choosing the option as no error. So, now, besides central banks. So, you remember we spoke about pronouns and here we have the pronoun they. But when you look at the first part, which is the subject, besides central banks and you have to use a reflexive pronoun, yes? So, a reflexive and em emphatic pronoun. So, they will become themselves over here. And why themselves? Because it is in a plural form. 
So besides central banks themselves have been aggressive in buying physical gold to cushion falling currency. So your option A is your right answer. The president of Costa Rica along with two vice presidents are elected for a four year term by the people. So you have four sentences okay with alternate options which would be which you have to choose the right answer okay. So the president of Costa Rica here which is your clue along with. So according to the subject verb agreement okay. So subject verb agreement rule and some exceptions. Whenever you have this word along with okay. Whenever you have this word along with your verb will agree with the subject okay it will agree with the subject yes so the president is singular so what will happen the president of costa rica along with two vice presidents is elected for a four year term by the people and here also you remember we spoke right whenever a measure okay your measure is preceded by a number four is a number so can you see your remains unchanged in case if this was s years this is also an error right so now let's look on to our option which goes very well with our sv rule which is a subject verb agreement rule so are elected no are elected no so is elected yes are elected no is elected for a four year now we have two options in this let's see is elected for a four year term by the people is elected for a four year terms by the people so we say that it does not change right so hence your option c is the right answer is elected for a four year term by the people next previously thought to have been extinct a team of biologists rediscovered the new caledonia crested gecko in 1994 so it is an animal kind okay so they're talking about the biologists who rediscovered so usually whenever we are looking at this sentence it's like a sentence correction pattern okay so you have to correct it and you have to form a proper sentence right so they've given us four five other options a team of biologists rediscovered the new caledonia crested gecko in 1994 a team of biologists in 1994 rediscovered the new caledonia crested gecko third in 1994 the new caledonia crested gecko was rediscovered by a team of biologists and discovered by a team of biologists in 1994 was the new caledonia crested gecko see when i'm reading itself i know that a sentence will not begin with and so i am eliminating this option next the new caledonia crested gecko was rediscovered by a team of biologists in 1994 so now once we have eliminated we are left out with four options right so how should a sentence be first a sentence should have a subject then a verb that is talking about the subject and then an object so subject verb and object now let us look at the four sentences so which is your subject so either it should be a team of biologists or it should be the new caledonia crested right so from these sentences which is the one that could be eliminated so in 1994 this could be eliminated either it's a team of biologists or the new caledonia okay so now let's look at the option in depth so a team of biologists rediscovered the new caledonia crested gecko so whenever we are looking at a sentence it is always good for us to start the sentence with a noun so here your first noun okay a proper noun is the new caledonia right so we can go with this option eliminating a and b which is the new caledonia crested gecko was rediscovered by a team of biologists in 1994 which helps us in using the diction error okay so diction wise this is how your words has to be placed and your sentence has to be placed and hence your option e is the right answer for this question next here you have four different sentences okay so you have to you have to investigate each and every sentence and find out which sentence has the error if there are no errors in any of these sentences then you have to choose option e so first let us inspect each and every sentence 
The ticket office opened at 8 a.m. and all the tickets were sold out soon. Okay. Next, he is also having intensive treatment in the hope that he will be able to train on Friday. Are we prepared to change our entire lives for the sake of one person? I think not. The trip was cancelled because there was too little interest in it. So when you're reading each and every sentence, you have to look for the sentence formation. You have to look for these parts of speech. Yes. And then you have to see if there is any other errors also. Now the first sentence itself, the ticket office opened at 8 a.m. and all the tickets were soon sold out. You have to know the difference between soon. So whenever you say soon, it's after a short span of time, right? So tickets were sold out. Soon is not the right formation. It will be tickets were soon sold out. And next sentence, the sentence formation is absolutely right. The third one also when we read, it was right. Fourth one also it was right. Hence, your option A is the right answer where your error is soon sold out. Okay. Next. Over the last few months, while most industries are busy in restructuring operations, cutting costs and firing, the Indian pharmaceutical and healthcare industry was adding manpower and giving salary hikes. Okay. So, what is the error here okay so over the last few months they did not take it into con consideration they've taken as many industries are while most industries were while many industries are where many industries were and no correction required so let's look at the four sentences okay so here which part of the sentence has been taken into consideration while most industries are okay so this part is only taken so, if you see it is while most industries are, okay. And you have to look at the first half of the sentence. Over the last few months, last few months. So, which tense is this indicating? This is indicating the past tense. So, in past tense, what is your plural form? Is it are or is it were? So, it is were. So, while most industries were is the thing that needs to be changed. Yes, because they've compared it to a superlative degree. We know very well which is a superlative degree, right? The superlative is comparing it to, for example, more, most. So, most is the superlative they are comparing the industries with all the other industries right so you need not have any changes with most or many so with most there is only one option right so you can eliminate all the others and then you can come up with this option b or you can also look at the first one which is in the tense form so it's in the past tense form and hence it is not r but it is verb okay so hence option B, while most industries were busy in restructuring operations, cutting costs and firing, the Indian pharmaceutical and healthcare industry was adding. See, this is also in past. See, this is also in past. So hence that itself gives us a clue as to what the middle part of the sentence has to be. Okay. So your last question. Regretfully, profits earned by your company fell by 20% last year despite higher sales okay so here if you see you might think where is the error so regretfully profits earned by a company fell by 20 percent last year despite higher sales so grammatically this is all right but you have to know that in english there are certain words which cannot be used in any other alternate form for example you have a word fast okay it cannot be used as fastly Okay, similarly, you cannot use this word regretfully. Okay, it is used as regrettably. Okay, so regrettably is your right option. So, regrettably, profits earned by your company fell by 20% last year despite higher sales. Right, so which part of your answer, which part of your sentence has the error? Option A, which is your right answer. Okay, so I hope 
while we have discussed this topic you are more clear as to how this topic error spotting should be approached and how you need to prepare for this topic and how all they are actually asking the questions and which format are they using in these particular topics right so i already like i already told you error spotting and sentence correction are similar topics if you really prepare well and if you are strong with your grammar fundamentals any topic be it error spotting or your sentence correction you will be able to score really good marks like i said five to six questions could be possibly coming from this topic and all you need to know is a little strong grammar and some logical concepts yes so go through our preparation uh, strategies go through our tips and techniques and come back to our question patterns and similar to this you can surf you can go through a lot of questions and you can prepare and always keep in mind that however you are preparing you are preparing based on the time because if you are fixing one question that should be solved in approximately 30 to 45 seconds you have to solve it in 35 30 to 45 seconds if not even the easiest questions that are coming later will become difficult for you to solve all right so I hope this video helped you and I wish you all the very best. Thank you.